As of August 2025, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft is healthy and operating in interstellar space, though engineers are strategically shutting down instruments to conserve its dwindling power supply. After 47 years in space, the probe continues to gather and transmit unique data from beyond our solar system's protective bubble. Voyager 2 is in the constellation Pavo, over 13 billion miles, 21 billion kilometers, from Earth. It entered interstellar space in November 2018, six years after its twin Voyager 1. The probe is traveling away from the Sun at a rate of 3.3 AU per year, heading south of the ecliptic plane. The spacecraft's radioisotope thermoelectric generator loses about 4 watts of power per year as its plutonium fuel decays. To preserve power, the team has implemented an aggressive power conservation plan involving the shutdown of scientific instruments. The plasma science instrument was powered down in October 2024, and the low-energy charged particle instrument was shut off in March 2025. The remaining instruments, including the magnetometer and plasma wave instruments, continue to collect valuable data. The single remaining antenna on the ground that can communicate with Voyager 2 is Australia's DSS-43 in Canberra. Due to the immense distance, it now takes approximately 19.5 hours for a radio signal from Earth to reach Voyager 2. Mission controllers resolved a communication anomaly in August 2023 that caused the spacecraft to point its antenna two degrees away from Earth. As it travels through interstellar space, Voyager 2 has provided groundbreaking data that is improving our understanding of the universe. The mission has revealed a chaotic and violent boundary at the edge of our solar system, with a constant flow of cosmic radiation. In October 2020, the probe detected a significant, unexpected increase in the density of the interstellar medium beyond our solar system's bubble. Despite its age, Voyager 2 is expected to remain in contact with Earth and collect limited science data for the foreseeable future. The next instrument scheduled for shutdown is the Cosmic Ray subsystem, which will be powered down sometime in 2026. The mission team estimates that Voyager 2 has enough power to continue operating at least one science instrument and transmitting engineering data into the 2030s. The probe is still within the outer boundary of the solar system, known as the Oort Cloud. It will take an estimated 30,000 years to exit this region entirely.